The Mustangs have the ball teed up at the 40-yard line. Jacob Frick in to kick. As the Tigers won the toss and deferred. Check that. The Mustangs won the toss and deferred to the second half. The Tigers electing to take the ball. It is a chilly night here, Kevin. One that the field for the snow that happened in the middle of the week, the field is surprisingly cleaned off, and there's no snow on the playing surface whatsoever. Yeah, I imagine the the moisture that's out there is uh, still um, thawed and, and wet because we're not expecting it to freeze here in Fort Morgan tonight. Frick has the ball teed up, and he will kick it away. Talton receives it at the 25-yard line, breaks away to this outside here, gets to the 35 and runs out of bounds. So a return of 10 yards, a low line drive kick by Frick that time, not his best effort. But the Tigers will start at their own 36. Yeah, I'm looking for Fort Morgan to come out strong on defense. Uh, Sterling has some passing yards, but a pretty strong running game. Um, But I think Fort Morgan's got to jump on them early and, and dominate. This is a team that they should be able to beat by three or four touchdowns. Hard to grab information on this Tigers team as they don't have any posted anywhere, and what you get is pretty much word of mouth or trying to scour the internet for some, but Diaz is the quarterback. He'll turn in hand to his running back, the deep back in the formation. Brendan Diaz, the quarterback, a 5'11 junior. Luke Engel hopped on that carry. He's the workhorse, really, for this Tiger offense. He had 162 yards on 27 carries last week in Sterling's win over Northridge. The give this time goes around towards the right side of the line. That was Travis Brammer on the run that time. He is a 5'10 senior, 185 pounds. Yeah, they just seem to be kind of running a hurry up. They're on the line and ready to run every play. There's three wide receivers for Diaz who's been in the shotgun these first two snaps, and he'll remain there. Kind of a short shotgun, almost like a three-yard shotgun. He'll turn and hand to Inglehop, who goes through the middle of the line, but he'll be met there after gaining, we'll call it five yards. So he'll be short of the first down on the third down play, and that'll bring up a fourth, and we'll see the punt unit come out for Sterling. Yeah, Sterling really hasn't had a lot of success this year. They do have three victories, but... um, Two of those against virtually winless teams, or actually two against one win teams and and the other one against a winless team. Oh, they're shifting out. They're going to shift out of that pump formation, Will Sterling, and we'll see how the defense for Fort Morgan responds. Now we'll see them move back to a short formation. The punt does go away, and everybody will get away from it. It bounces at the 30-yard line and takes a Mustangs bounce. And we'll be downed at the 32. So not a very good punt by any means. Only a punt of about 20 yards there. But that will give Fort Morgan decent field position to start their first drive. And with 10.07 on the clock, the Mustangs will see if they can put some magic together here early on. Yeah, I'd like to see Fort Morgan just take it to them with their power running game. Um, And then once they establish that, maybe do some play action passing. One man to this near side, that's Schneider for Martins, who's under center, brings a man in motion. That's Fitzsimmons in a flea flicker play now, and Martins is going to be wrapped up and brought down back at the 20-yard line. The flea flicker didn't fool anybody on the defensive side of the ball for Sterling as they brought pressure, and the defensive backs really stayed home on the, the wide receivers that were going out, one of those Fitzsimmons, the other Schneider. Not the kind of start that the Mustangs need. They just can't leave Sterling hanging around uh, for another you know, half because they may be able to get after it. Second and 20 now. We see a tight formation, three men in the backfield. Martin's under center, turns and hands to Alexander, the deep back. He'll go through the middle of the line, pick up five yards. And that will bring up a third and a long ways, third and 15. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get out of a second and 20 hole. Uh, probably just try and get some field position, and I think we'll obviously see Swetzig win the the battle of field positions. He punts much better than the Sterling punter on that last one. 
Actually, they'll only give credit to Alexander for two yards, so it's a third and 18. Now Martin's looking to pass. He'll roll towards the far sideline, and it'll be intercepted by the Tigers right at the 35-yard line. Didn't see the number on that. Diaz, the quarterback, playing safety, gets the interception, and he puts his team right back in business at the 35-yard line of Mustang Territory. Yeah, an ill-advised pass there by Martins. And boy, a Sterling team that has three wins coming off of a, a win over Northridge would really like to tie one on the Mustangs. Fort Morgan's really going to have to be careful here. They'll officially spot the ball at the 34. Diaz in the gun. He'll turn and hand to Inglehop, who tries to go through the middle, bounces off, and will be wrapped up. Brought down for a minimal gain in the second down. Yeah, Sterling doesn't seem to be able to get anything going on offense here. Maybe one or two yards per play. They had the, the one nice six-yard run by Inglehop early. Again, that short pistol-looking formation from the Tigers. The give comes on the end around this time, and a great play that time by Cody Davis. He wraps up Cody Leckman, who was the ball carrier on the end around play. Didn't get much, if any, and it brings up a third and long for the Tigers. Yeah, I just had uh, Leckman in motion and handed off to him right as he got there. Two men to this near side. A man spread to the far side. Now Leckman goes in motion from near to far, and he'll go out on a passing route as Diaz looks to pass, and he's got his man out there on the far side and steps around a defender and will be really close to that first down marker. We'll see where they spot him. And it will be just short, so it's a fourth down, and the Tigers will go for it. Fourth and inches here. Diaz turns, hands to Engelhoff, who goes through the middle, and I believe he's got enough for the first down. Yes, he does. So the quick quick count there and the hurry-up offense leads to the first down as Fort Morgan's not able to really catch their breath. Yeah, they, they seem to like this hurry-up offense, and it's got Fort Morgan a little bit off balance. First and 10 now from the 21-yard line. Two men to this near side. The give goes to the deep back, and he's wrapped up immediately behind the line and brought down Brandon Hoffman with the tackle there. A good job of wrapping the man up. I believe that was Leckman again on the give on that end-around try, and nothing doing there. It brings up a second... And 13. Diaz sends Leckman in motion from the near side to the far side. Two men out to that far side now. Diaz looking to pass. He's going to that far sideline. Has it up, and it is incomplete. Boy, that was a close play there, Kevin. Is It looked like it almost was caught by the man for Sterling, but he wasn't able to maintain possession as he went to the ground. Right, the Fort Morgan defender leaped up. Just a hair too early, and he came down as the ball sailed over his hands into the Sterling receiver's hands. Not sure why on the sideline Letchman wasn't able to pull that one in. Two men to this near side, including Xavier Talton. He's a big target, 6'2", 175 pounds. Diaz still in that shotgun. Oh, there's movement here on this near side, and the referees catch it. Reed Wolfley, the guilty party of the false start. He was wide in the slot. That'll cost the Tigers five yards and make this third and 12 play even further. Check that. It was a third and 13, and now it's a third and 18 after the penalty. Yeah, let's see if Sterling has an answer to that sort of situation. Diaz again in that short shotgun. Brings Wolfley in motion this time. You're going to run the option, and he throws it away. Engelhop has to try and gather it back in, but this is well behind the line of scrimmage, and a good job there by the defense of Fort Morgan. Brandon Hoffman again in on the tackle as an ill-advised pitch from Diaz to Engelhop goes for a loss. We'll see what they call it when they spot the football here. All the way back to the 38-yard line. A loss of seven that time, and it's a fourth and 25, and we'll see the punting unit come out for the Tigers. Yuli Hernandez deep to receive for the Mustangs. 
Tigers have a decent uh, field goal team, so I think they were hoping to get maybe into field goal position, and with that fumble, they just weren't able to. Beltran sends away a good punt, and it's almost, almost brought in before it goes into the end zone by a Tiger gunner, but he could not get to it in time, and the ball will come out to the 20-yard line. So Sterling is unable to capitalize on the short field after the interception, and now Fort Morgan will get to work here on their second offensive possession here in this first half, 5.57 showing on the clock. And here I'd really like to see Fort Morgan get back to their strength. Their strength is running that uh, up man right up the center off tackle. Alexander and Goto in the backfield. Two men spread, one each direction. Goto gets a give. No, Martins keeps it himself. Comes off this near side. Picks up about a yard. And it'll be a second and nine. Yeah, faked the inside play and tried to carry out the option. Sterling seemed to have that uh, sniffed out. Clock continues to run here in the first quarter. We're still scoreless at Legion Field, 0-0. Listening to Mustangs and Tigers here tonight. The final game of the season, senior night here at Legion Field. Martins under center turns, gives to Alexander the deep man, and he's got a little bit of room to run, gets across the 25 and will be down at the 30, and I think he lost his footing there. Otherwise, he had a little bit more room to go as he had a blocker out there and T.J. Schneider. And he'll be just short of the first down. Oh, there's an unfortunate losing his footing right there. Right, he tried. To, he had a blocker out there and two defenders, and he was trying to set up the block and did a little too fancy a footwork on the slick ground and, and fell down. But a third and, and inches. Martin's again under center. He'll turn and hand to Alexander, who goes off the left side this time, and he's got enough for the first down. In fact, he'll be just shy of the 34. Only needed the. 30 yard line so a gain of five there and that gives the Mustangs first first down of the game yeah for, this is what Fort Morgan needs to do is establish that running game prior to throwing the ball and I think maybe they they see that now and they're just going to go with their bread and butter Mustang football brought to you by T.O. Charlie see T.O. Charlie's for a great used car or truck today if you don't see what you want on the lot they will find it for you at 700 West Platte in Fort Morgan Goto gets the give this time, goes through between tackle and guard on the left side. And boy, is he running hard, and he gets met, and he's still dragging the pile there as he gets across the 40 and finally brought down at the 41-yard line. Boy, hard yards that time there for Goto. Yeah, Goto's first carry of the night, and maybe sending a message to the sideline that give me the ball because I want to run it. That's Those are a hard seven yards, a second and three now as they'll spot the ball at the 41-yard line. Fitzsimmons out wide to this near side, Schneider to the far side, two men in the backfield, two tight ends in. Goto again gets a give, oh, and he loses his footing, trips over his own man, but I think he's got enough for the first down. A lot of running room here on this near side, and boy, trips over his own lead blocker that time. Jose Miranda, you can see him in the, in the huddle, upset with himself that he tripped up what would have been a big gain for Goto. He is short of the first down with Goto, so it's a third and one. Yeah, in this treacherous field, the blockers really have got to get some movement on the defensive opponents. <clears throat> Martins again under center. Two men spread. Anderson this near side. We see a jump from the defensive front from Sterling. Nothing there. Goto fumbles the football. The ball's out, and I think Sterling's got it. Goto cannot hang on to the football probably a little wet out there and that ball went flying out sterling does have it from the officials just across midfield and so we've seen two offensive possessions for the mustangs and two turnovers and sterling is back in business yeah fort morgan if they're not careful and i know it's early i know it's only three minutes left in the first quarter but if they're not careful and they let the sterling team hang in there they're going to face the same problem they did against Fort Lupton. They should have been able to keep that drive going. They know that they need to wrap up that ball. Three minutes exactly shown on the clock here in the first quarter, and now we'll see the officials had to pick up their marker for the fumble. Diaz has two men in the backfield, a man in motion, hands off to that man in motion. That was Lechman, who meets Jose Miranda as he tries to cut up field, and gang tackle that time by the 
Mustangs. He'll be brought down, but not after crossing midfield and picking up three. Well, we'll call it four. And he'll bring a second and six. Yeah, Sterling seems to either like handing off to the deep back or handing off to the guy in motion. Um, Diaz hasn't carried the ball yet. One man in the backfield, two to this near side. That angle hopped. He is in the backfield. He'll get the give, and he'll be met as he tries to go through the middle of the line. He'll cross the 45, and it'll bring up a third and short for the Tigers. And there they are on the line again, ready to go. They they really haven't had a great deal of success on this. I think one first down, they, but they seem to stick with uh, the hurry-up offense. They need the 41-yard line for the first down in Mustang territory. It's a third and four. Diaz gives to Engelhopped, and he's wrapped up behind the line by Jose Miranda for a loss. So a fourth and five here coming up, and decision time for the Tigers as Jose Miranda jumps through the line, almost back there before Engelhop even gets the ball, and he wraps him up for the loss. Big defensive stand there as we see the punt unit come out for the Tigers. Beltran on to punt. Hernandez deep, and now we'll see the shift again here. And this time Diaz is still in there. And Diaz will step back to presumably punt. He will get it away. Much better kick. Hernandez fumbles the football, and he can't jump on it as a tackler gets him before he's able to recover it. And now there's a mad dash. I don't know who's got this football. It's down inside the 10-yard line. And Sterling has it. So we see another turnover, if you will, for the Mustangs. A muffed punt. Sterling has it, and they've got great field position. Uh, Coach uh, Chisholm's going to have to do something to get these kids back on this so that they don't lose hope here. A good stand here and and maybe hold them and hold them to three can do that for them. Back-to-back weeks, we've seen Yuli Hernandez have trouble with a punt. If you'll remember last week in the Frederick game, he did muff the punt, and Frederick was able to get it, but then Hernandez was able to recover a fumble on the ensuing drive. Engelhop gets the give, and he goes through the middle of the line, and he's down, and Armando Lopez comes out with the football, but they're saying that Engelhopped was down before. This drive starting on the eight-yard line, so it was a first and goal from the eight. Four-yard run that time, puts the ball on the four. And a second and goal now. A man comes in motion for Diaz, who's in that short pistol set. Engelhop behind him. Two men to this near side, one man to the far side. Engelhop gets it, tries to go around the... Near side of the line, but he'll be stopped. Yuli Hernandez, the first man to get to Engelhopped. Yeah, Sterling against Fort Lupton earlier a couple weeks ago uh, beats Fort uh, Fort Lupton team, but has three touchdowns off of turnovers. Eight seconds remaining here in the first quarter. We'll see if Sterling elects to get this playoff before the clock runs out, and I don't think they're going to. No, they won't. So when we come back in the second half, it'll be third and goal from the four-yard line. The teams will switch ends. We'll take a break. You're listening to Mustang Football on B106 and B106.com. 